A300 600 cabin pressure control and monitoring system, including a removal installation of the controller. Uh, I will try and go through the motions of what flight crew see uh, on ECAM, various annunciator lights, um, show you the controller replacement. So first thing on the overhead panel will be a simulation of a fault light of one of the systems, either one or two. Uh, you would get, or the pilot will get, a ECAM message and instructions of what to do. He would also get his sim synoptics come up on, on the ECAM page for that relevant system. A master caution annunciator light and uh, the associated CBs in the flight deck. Um, I'll show you now by doing the test on the maintenance panel behind me is uh, what the flight crew would actually see if it was a failure on one of the systems. So on the right hand screen you'll see an amber light for system 2. On the left hand screen he has his um, master warning, cabin altitude and instructions of what switches to uh, press and um, a master caution which would be the second priority and instructions of what to do. So we're simulating a controller replacement. This is number two on the A300. Number one is in the firebox below. And so to remove this, you would disconnect the static hose from the front face. Uh, the other port is ambient. Pull the box out. New box, always a good idea to check the pins of the connectors. Tighten the two knurled nuts. and connect the quad connector. There it is, that's the ambient one. Remove the cap, remember that. And tighten the hose and make certain the coloured ring is shown on the connector. That ensures that it's uh, seated properly. So to test the controller after installation, if you um, set up procedures, you would uh, set the barrow knob and uh, ensure that the standard altitude is not displayed, which it isn't. And ensure that the rate limit selector is in the normal position which it is. And lastly, you would ensure the LAM air push button switch is released. 
legends are off. So once those steps are complete, we go to the controller, ready to do the bike test on the front face. So first one will be a lamps test. You get a steady green LED. Followed by the DC power, also steady LED. And this is testing the computer. You get a flashing LED for about 30 seconds. If the test passes, the light will be on steady. There it is, and you select each option to check the whole system.